Good morning. Yeah, and I got a correction I gotta make here. Apparently that bird I saw yesterday at the bird feeder just as we closed off, that wasn't a crow. It was something else. I'll uh, dub it down in the bottom of the screen there for you. I forget the name right now, but two people told me what it was, and so I googled it, and sure enough, yeah, we it, we didn't have a crow. How, however, this morning, after I was taking the camera off of the sunrise, which I will dub in right now, a, a very plain sunrise, but at least you got to see it. Uh, yeah, the the I, I put the camera back onto the bird feeder. And uh, there was two birds on the on the on the bird feeder, and they were walking around on it and uh, eating up the seeds like crazy. And uh, I am sure that they were actually crows. They looked just like crows. They were a bigger bird. They had the crow crow-like uh, face if if a, if a bird has a face. <laughs> anyway, unfortunately, the sun was from behind the bird feeder. And uh, I'm going to wait until later today. I'm sure they're going to be back when the sun is more from uh, from the right direction. And uh, the, this opening scene is not going well. <laughs> okay, and we are not going to have a rollback. I did not come back to the model table yesterday afternoon uh, and do anything here. So, uh, But what I am going to do... Uh, is I'm going to repaint this. Uh, I, 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 I thought when I was doing it that painting it the dark number 56 was wrong, but I thought, well, let's, let's give it a try. If I don't like it, uh, well, I, I, can, I can always change it. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Ozzy Frenchman's suggestion, and, and I'm going to mask off the, the boxes. And I'm going to leave them the the 56, and I'm going to paint the uh, the uh, the splash guard or whatever you want to call it, uh, breakwater part. I'm going to paint it the uh, 66, and I'm just going to use a brush. I'm not going to mess around with the airbrush. I think it, I think it'll be all right. And if it isn't well, then I'll mess around with the airbrush. Uh, anyway, let's let's get going here and see if we can't. Uh, do something model related because yesterday I think it was more other stuff than model related but hey that's the way it goes uh, yeah let's let's just sort of move on here Now I, I realize it's kind of hard for you to see that, but I will show you what I did here. Now, I'm wondering if maybe it would have been better to have had a longer piece and gone across the top because my plan is to have a little, little edge of uh, well, let's just get a longer piece here. I'm sure we can afford it. Okay. Now, try and hold this so that everybody can see it. Now, just slow down a little bit here, Ron. Just slow down. Okay. Now, if we can bring this down on the inside. Okay, I'll do the same on the other side.
Okay, now the idea is so that when I paint all of this, now if I was going to, this is almost set up really nice for spraying, except I'm going to use the brush. Um, all right, I'm going to do the other box the same way. I'll just do it off camera. Okay, this is a brand new unthinned jar. I just shook it up here. Looks good. Doesn't look lumpy or anything. Now, I think the thing to do will be to just try and paint the inside first. Now, we don't want to be getting it on the box. We just just want to get it on the breaker I may have to do two coats here kind of trembly this morning, I don't know why. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it two, I'll give it two coats. to remember that these are self-locking tweezers. I have a tendency to squeeze on them to think that I am uh, holding it a little bit more tightly. And then actually, when I'm squeezing on it, I'm loosening them. No, yes, so I'll be the first to agree this is not as good as you know, if I was to be uh, using the airbrush, I know that. Which begs the question, well, why not use the airbrush then? top last. I don't have to don't have to do the positioning peg. Actually, this is covering pretty good, but I will give it—I will give it a second coat. Okay, now let's let's just try and do it along the top here if we can. just have to hope it doesn't wick its way underneath the masking tape but I, I stuck the masking tape down really good along the top there so I don't think it will
Can't seem to get into that crack. There we go. And the other, this other side is pretty good. All right, now. Oh. Okay, I, I, I realize that occasionally I would get that out of your field of view a little bit. Um, I think that's pretty good for the first coat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to uh, just do the smaller pieces. Now the smaller pieces I won't be masking anything off, I'll be just uh, uh, painting them. But they have, they have to be done because they, they have to match this. So, okay. Now I gave the larger piece of breakwater um, the second coat with the thinned out version of the uh, 66 and it seemed to go pretty good and I'm just thinking that maybe I might give these areas here a try with the thinned out version. Uh, I can't remember if I put that leveling thinner stuff in there or not. Um, uh, what do they call it? To me, uh, just hang on, I'll get it. Okay, paint retarder. I think I might have put a little bit of paint retarder in it, and maybe that's why it's going a little better, but maybe it's just my imagination too. Um, anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do these areas here where the chain goes down into the uh, uh, hose pipe, and, uh, and maybe also these uh, chain ways. And we'll just see how it goes. I think I might be able to have a little better control. I will not be using this larger brush like I did for for uh, these pieces here. Um, we'll we'll look at we'll look at these tomorrow after they have a chance to properly dry and for the uh, paint to shrink around all the detail. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to look too good. Um, but I think it's going to be acceptable. Now, now, is there anybody else, or is it just me? that finds painting with a brush very relaxing. I find doing something like this extremely relaxing. Um, whereas with the, with the airbrush, it's you might say it's almost the opposite because you're always a little bit kind of maybe uptight and well, you know, things like, uh, well, why isn't it working? It was working and all of a sudden it quit. What's wrong? Is there a clog? Is it... You know, is it, do I is drying on the on the tip of the airbrush? You know, all kinds of you know things that can go wrong. Whereas with with the paintbrush, I mean, how hard is it to dip into the paint and, and brush it on? Um, yeah, is there anybody else that uh, finds brushing, uh, you know, their model a lot more relaxing than with the airbrush? Or is it maybe I'm just you know maybe it's an age thing? I don't know. I am seventy six. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and things change. Anyway, let's uh, recompose here and uh, see if we can uh, work on this side. And uh, anything that I can't get at on this side, uh, like like in, in behind here, uh, I won't be able to see it, but when I swing the ship around, I should be able to see it. Which, then it, it only stands to reason then, well, I've got the ship on this side that I, you know, paint things that are going to be hard to paint from the other side. Yeah. I'll just have to remember to do that. Oh, um, I was going to say maybe places like this should be painted to darker gray as well because that would not be deck tan. There's going to be uh, little round bullards going going on there. Uh, yeah, maybe that should be painted. Just thinking out loud here. This 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 part right here, we won't paint that because it's going to have an insert go in there like we tried yesterday. It's going to completely cover that up, so we won't bother painting that. But we'll we'll worry about these parts as we work our way work our way back. Let's recompose here. Now, I was I was just thinking here it could be a good idea to maybe get this masking tape off of here now before the paint gets too dried and crispy, if you know what I mean. My thinking is that if, if you peel masking tape off and the, the paint is... I wonder if I could hold this with my fingers yet. Mm, 
Yeah, it seems like it. Well, maybe I can get it without. Oh, it's coming off of the coming off of the tweezer, isn't it? Oh, I should be able to hold it here. Yeah. Hold it by the box. Yeah, that'll that'll work. We didn't paint the box, we only painted the with the breakwater part, didn't we? Okay, that's that one. Now I think that probably the, the breakwater is pretty much dry. At least uh, I, I think it is. Okay. Now I'm noticing on the inside of that one box. You can see where the tweezer was when I was originally spraying it. I'm going to have to, uh, and, and here on this corner, it needs to be touched up. So I will have to be getting out the 56 and touching that up with a brush later. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a good look at these uh, tomorrow after they're completely dry. Okay, this is the thinned out version, but somehow it looks awful thick. And yet, being as it is so full, I know I must have really thinned it out pretty royally. Now, um, where's my smaller brush? Because do you remember I was saying that things that are on the other side, that I'm, you know, when I'm doing the other side, it'll be easier to do do it when it's like this. So I'm thinking maybe. Now is the time to do these. Now, I can sort of steady myself. It's possible that uh, this is too thinned out. I don't want it to run down onto the onto the planking. Now it would be really nice if I could, you know, do do the edge that goes down to the planking that quarter of a millimeter or whatever it is. But I don't think I'm going to try that. Okay, I'm, I think I'm going to have to uh, move everything closer to me here. Now I'll get the other side of this thing, these things, when I when I swing the the, the hull around. I'm wondering, you know, maybe I do this on the top right now. When I do it again from the other side, I'll be sort of giving it its second coat. Alright, um, yeah, I'm going to have to reposition here because uh, it's just too far away from me. I, I can't look straight down on it. Okay, yeah, this will be much better. And a steady rest, yeah.
Okay, I wonder if I could transfer to the my medium sized brush here. No, I'll finish these. Oh yeah, this is way better. Except now you can see the top of my head. It almost looks like I'm losing hair or something, doesn't it? It's a, it's a camera lens. Those, those Nikon lenses, they do that. They make an old guy look bald. Okay, now how did I do over here? I can do a much better job now. Before I was looking in too much of an angle like this and my head was all cranked up and my neck was hurting and... Yeah. All for the sake of the camera. Okay. Now I think I can still move you in a little bit here. Although what time we're we getting here? Twelve minutes after one? You know... I think I'm going to call it quits for today. Thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.